Hello, I'm Stan Stalnaker here with Hub Culture at the beautiful Transition Summit in Monaco, really exploring the intersection of climate change and what we can do about it. Joining me right now is somebody who is doing something about it, Mr. Johan Eliash, the CEO and founder of Cool Earth. Tell us about Cool Earth. So Cool Earth is dedicated to uh, preserving rainforest, stop deforestation. And the way we do that is uh, to find ways to make the standing tree more valuable than the cut down. And how can you do that? You can do that through initiatives, working with the people that live in the rainforest and create other ways for them to make a livelihood other than cutting down the trees. So we're creating other forms of economic value from the forest beyond just cutting it down. Exactly. Right. And so what motivated you to start this organization? I know that's had a huge impact. It was founded in 2007 and already 216 million trees have been saved through your organization and 234 million tons of carbon have been you know, uh, saved and prevented from entering the atmosphere. That's a huge impact. Um, how did you get that going? How did you get the, the process started? For well, the way it started was uh, I bought some rainforest privately and uh, somehow the media got wind of that and uh, then uh, Frank Field, who is a long-standing MP, he called me up and said, uh, you know, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could create a scheme where uh, everybody can do the same that you've been doing, mm -hmm. but perhaps not through buying rainforest. Uh, and so Cool Earth was... Uh, right. And the, the project has been most active in Peru and the DR Congo and Papua New Guinea. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe an example of projects in those places or the impact that it's having? Well, the impact is that it has uh, reduced deforestation in the areas where we've done this. And mm -hmm. we have some cr key criteria for where we do projects. It has to be in a spot in the rainforest which is likely to be deforestated, deforested if no action is taken. So it's not just saying, oh, we protected uh, some unaccessible forest in the middle of nowhere which no one can get access to anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's going to endangered areas. So that's number one. Number two, we always work together with the indigenous population and sometimes also local uh, foundations that are de dedicated to the same purpose. And this model has been uh, very successful b uh, because it's really sustainable. And that's another criteria which is very important, that is the moment we leave the project, that we will carry on and continue without our engagement. That's really important. So a lot of this is about setting up infrastructure. It's about se setting up infrastructure, it's about uh, educating, teaching and facilitating. And so if you're a person out there watching and you want to get involved in helping to make a material difference for saving the rainforest, obviously there's the Cool Earth website, but how, how do you recommend that people get involved and participate in this project? Well, first of all, they can donate money to, towards our cause, uh, but you know, there are other ways you can do this. It's by writing about it, by talking about it, spreading the word, how important this is, because mitigating deforestation through what Cool Earth has done, we've done that at about an average of 38 cents per ton. And when you compare that to renewables, which range anywhere from 20 up to $100 a ton, the bang you get for your back here is uh, phenomenal. And the so, more we spread the word about that, the better. So it's essentially 10 times more effective to work on preservation than even renewables, it sounds like. 100 times more effective. Yeah. And that's not the, the metaphoric 100 times, but actual 100 times yeah, yeah. better. Especially if you're going in 2030. And we can't, we can't solve 
climate change without addressing the rainforest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of work being done in the Amazon now to really identify areas that are super crucial. But one of the things that I found interesting about Cool Earth is you, your guys' work has a kind of secondary effect because you're working at these kind of more endangered areas by protecting these, these kind of outer edges of the rainforest. You're also having like a knock-on effect on internal areas where you, if you're not able to punch a road through, where you're not able to, to put, you know, a logging road or a mining road in, it actually then protects the deeper rainforest. So is that an actual strategy and how do you find it playing out in the different regions? You have Southeast Asia, you have Africa, and you have Latin America. Where are you finding the most success with that strategy? It's the same wherever you go. Uh, the moment you have infrastructure put into these areas, roads, uh, it means that you have logistics for the bad people that cut down the trees. Mm -hmm. For illegal deforestation. Yeah. If you don't have that, there's no way to get the trees out. And then you don't have deforestation. And same wherever you go. Yeah, so these so protecting these these edge areas is crucial now. That say. is crucial. Um, it's also important to uh, to have uh, for for the countries that have rainforest to have well thought out master plans for how they develop areas and how they create uh, prosperity. Because the people that live in remote areas, they do have to have access, they do have to have uh, health care, they do have right to education, mm -hmm. and that's the only way that, uh, that uh, countries and people and prosper. Absolutely. And so what's your vision for the future? I mean, you started this project in 2007. We're now more than 10 years on. Where do you see it going another 10 years from now? What's your, what's your ambition? Well, I hope that uh, we can continue the growth rate in the protection that we do. So uh, that we can double what we do today and over the, maybe even triple over the next 10 years. Right, great, fantastic. Joining me, Johan Elias, the CEO of Cool Earth. You can find out more at coolearth.org and uh, check it out. You can also see more videos and interviews at hublive.tv from the Transition Summit here in Monaco, really looking at solutions for climate change. And this is definitely one of them. So congratulations and thank you for everything you're doing for, for the planet. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.